Hey guys, Capper here. Well, some days it goes easy, and other days it's a real, real nightmare. Let's see if we can't get this quick attach set up for this uh, power tiller, the new Rhino, and see how today's vlog goes, shall we? All right, so I'm working on a new tiller. I'm working on getting this uh, quick attach ready. So obviously you got some adjustment here in the main things. But here's what I want to cover. You have several different options, okay? So this, this is the size for the quick attach. I don't know what exactly it is, inch and a quarter or something, outer diameter, however. So you have one option of setting it up so your two quick attach bottoms come out, come here on the inside. Uh, however, from my experiences, all implements, especially a heavy duty tiller, this has a chance of bending or breaking. So I'd rather get my hooks in here. So I got a different bushing right here that's gonna work for the inside. I have to cut it here, make it a little shorter, but that's gonna have way more support on this inside as opposed to using just um, one end being attached, if you will. So all the implements I've ever had like this end up bending these, so. If you do have the option on quick attach, try to use the double supported lower three point arm. It's gonna serve you much better. All right, we'll see how I did with the bushings. Not bad, there's one. Oh, that one's a little snug, but it's perfect. All right, these uh, bottom two ones will be ready. So then we gotta uh, work on the top one. Hopefully, I don't need to make any modifications here. Okay, I took my measurements and I have to adjust this hook all the way to the top. There might be a little bit of slop in here, but you want your lower two seated all the way, and up here, you don't want this one fully seated, unless these two are, because you want these lower ones to hold all the weight. So in theory, we're gonna be really close. Let's see if this thing works. And one other tip for you, if you have a quick attach, doesn't matter which one. For these bolts up here, these are a 15 16 Get you one of these ratchet wrenches, put in your toolbox, so when you gotta adjust this top one for different implements, it's just really easy with this ratchet slash box end wrench. That's the tip of the day. Okay, so here we go. In theory, in theory, this should work. Quick attach, this should work. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Alright, I might be back to the drawing board. Uh, this lower one is on. This lower one ain't quite on. It could be that drive shaft. And the top one is, needs to go down about another inch. So let me fiddle with it for a while. Alright, go figure. The center pin ain't centered. It's a quarter inch off, which is all it takes. You can kind of see that. But I think I'm going to have one more problem. I had this with another implement. These, see these steel flanges? They stick out too much. So what's happening is the steel flange is catching right here. So I got to grind off, you know, a quarter inch, eighth to a quarter inch, and then get this re straightened out. And then we might try it again. So much for quick attach ready. 
keeping it real. Okay, it's now on. Both of the lower ones are snug and locked. But I don't like it. I'll show you why, because it's barely up on the hook here, okay? So that hook, see all that air down there? And that's the last adjustment to go upward here. So, I mean, you could run it like that, but I don't like it. It's a little too much slop with all the pressure this thing takes, so I may have to weld one. Darn it, man, I was so close. So close. I wonder if I might be able to flip that over, maybe, or if these will flip upward, maybe. I'll have to do some thinking around here. Okay, so I flipped this one, and it looks like that's probably going to work. Because if you, you compare it to this front one here, it's going to boost it up about probably somewhere around inch and a half, two inches, which should be perfect. Um, I'm soaked with sweat right now. It's a hot and humid one today, but I'm going to try this because once you do get them, you know, uh, quick attach ready, they generally speaking are much easier than fighting with them every time okay this is what i should have done the first time i mean i tried to get away with it once that it would go smoothly but obviously it didn't this is normally what i end up doing problem is it's really hard for you know one person to do it so uh now you see it fits all this everything is loose but they're on perfectly so i got my perfect width here I got a real nice bite on the hook, and the bottom ones are sitting flush, so this is perfect. I'm just gonna make sure everything is centered, and it's gotta tighten down all three of these points, and then try to get it back into there. But the quick attach is just about ready. Man, I'm soaked in sweat too. What a hot one today, but I'll feel good if I get this done. All right, it's a done deal now. <clears throat> It uh, was a nightmare. It took the floor jack, clamps, sledgehammer, a little bit of manhandling, a lot of very probably not good words. Uh, probably literally lost a gallon of sweat, but it's done. So if you guys are ever going to set up your uh, quick attach, my suggestion is wait till you got a buddy on like a Saturday and make sure a, a parts store is open. Um, I had everything in stock. I, I have extra bushings and bolts and, and shear pins. I have all of that because there was a lot of these pieces that I was missing that uh, like this this top bushing I was missing, these two inner bushings I was missing, but I have all that here. So if you don't have it and you're setting up your quick attach, like I said, if you can try it with a buddy on a Saturday where you, somebody can run and get bushings and whatnot. But I feel good now. I want it on there because tomorrow I'm going to be hopefully doing a project. I need that counterweight. I'm going to go out in the woods with Mrs. Capper if it don't rain and get some big boulders with the uh, uh, forks up in front. So that should be fun. So a success anyways. Now it's time for a cold one. Or two or three maybe. Who knows.